Do not wander without a purpose. Act deliberately. Your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought. Stop being aimless and stop allowing yourself to be distracted. Maintain an unwavering commitment and focus once a decision has been made. Adversity is part of nature. Accept this for what it is. Difficulties, setbacks and even tragedies are part of life. They are even part of what it means to be alive. Everyone will experience them. Remind yourself that how things affect you is determined by your mind's interpretation of them, not the external things themselves. Whatever happens, you can choose how to interpret it. The mind adapts and converts to its own purposes the obstacle to our acting. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Remember. Our business is with things that really matter. When you need encouragement, think of the qualities the people around you have. The energy of one, the modesty of another, the generosity of a third. Keep the thought of them ready to hand. When roused to anger, remember that there's nothing manly about giving in to emotion. It's courtesy and kindness that define a human being and a man. He who possesses these qualities possesses strength, nerves and courage, not the man who is subject to fits of passion and discontent. Be open to correction. Being corrected is better than remaining in self-deceit. You shouldn't view changing your mind as losing, or that you're being coerced. It is still a free and noble action on your part to change your mind if the evidence turns against you. Remember that to change your mind and to accept correction are free acts too. The action is yours based on your own will, your own decision and your own mind. Learn to endure the freedom of speech of others. You cannot control them, so learn to control your reaction instead. Learn to hear unwelcome truths. Listen attentively to people and seek to place yourself in their shoes. Through hard practice, you can learn even the things which you despair at learning now. For any task at hand, ask yourself, why can't I endure it? you'll be embarrassed to answer. Don't focus on any physical characteristic which you cannot change and do not allow yourself to want or pursue what is impossible. Focus instead on the virtues that are in your power to bring forth. Honesty, dignity, endurance, austerity, resignation, abstinence, patience, sincerity, moderation, seriousness, magnanimity. The universe is in constant flux, but there's nothing new under the sun. Whatever challenges you're facing, others have met them before. Instead of wailing against them, feeling outrage and shock, and repeating the behaviors of those before you, let petty events wash off you and turn your attention to what really matters. In every event which leads you to sorrow, remember to use this principle, that this is not a misfortune, but that to bear it like a brave man is good fortune. Be like the headland against which the waves continually break. It stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. If you've mistakenly trusted and untrustworthy,